Welcome to part one of our digital painting tutorial. In this episode, we're going to focus on the human eye and the process and tools and brush setup you will need to accomplish these results. This tutorial uses a pressure sensitive tablet. You want to have a brush, a basic round brush with the opacity set to 80 or 90 percent. The flow will be between 60 and 70 and you'll have a skin brush and a smudge tool with strength set to 11. We start with a sketch of the face and we're going to jump right into what's called color blocking. Color blocking is where you take a smaller brush with the opacity set between 80 and 90 percent and the flow set between 60 and 70 percent. What you're doing is looking for big solid shapes of color and you're going to lay those down slightly overlapping each other and next to each other. And what you're doing is you're building a base of all of your colors to blur and blend together later on to create the overall painting. So look for major spots of color and just focus on trying to get the, the correct colors into your painting up front. You can switch between the small round brush and your skin texture brush to do this. The skin texture brush will give you a little bit more realistic look, but it's a you use this in combination with the, the round brush. The, the texture brush will give you highlights and shadows, but very kind of random to where it looks much more realistic. And you'll be very surprised how many different colors are actually in the skin and the eye and in a photo in general. So if you have a reference photo, please open this up in Photoshop and take the color picker over the pixels and just kind of look around and see how much color variety and data there actually is in these pixels. You might be a little bit surprised. Uh, in the eyeball itself, even though if you're drawing a brown eye, there's a little bit of purple, there's a little bit of orange in there just enough to give it more depth and realism so keep a close eye on color and you'll see these things start to kind of pop out when you're trying to do digital painting so you want to keep color blocking keep adding solid shapes and what you're going to use is a very small brush for the smudge tool and you're going to come back and blend those colors together with the smudge tool to create a shape and depth and have a nice seamless transition between color to color to color this is what really creates a realistic looking painting. When you're doing the eyelashes, make sure you use a very fine small brush and don't overdo it. Just be very, very easy and you don't want to draw big harsh uh, or paint big harsh eyelashes. You're just kind of building them up. This whole process is kind of almost like sculpture. You're just putting down your base colors and you're slowly blending them together and building them on top of each other to create this image. So like I said, keep, keep varying between the small round brush and the skin texture brush to really roughen it up and give it that, that more realistic look. Also pay cl close attention to the highlight on the iris of the eye. You're going to need a little bit of white there to give it that little bit of a glassy look. So I hope you like this and we will go on to step number two here soon. Thank you.